I know I've stressed the importance of sorting and orienting the pieces, but here's just another example. I need a piece that's got blue in the left knob and uh, below it in the shoulder there's a little red and black. So I'm looking for pieces with blue, and there it's a fat piece with blue in the left knob, but I don't have that many left. Um, <clears throat> and I don't see any that have blue in the left knob, but oh, there's a little one. You know, that one might work right here, but there's too much red. There's no, there's no red inside the knob, <clears throat> so that one can't be it. And I looked around, I couldn't find any. I said, well, let me look at my blue. Um... And I don't have that many blue ones left. And it turns out that it is likely um, now I've misplaced the piece. Um, it is likely this piece right here. Because what do you notice that's wrong about this piece and the one next to it? They are oriented wrong. It should never be green then yellow. It's always got to be yellow then green from top to bottom or from right to left. Green is always the bottom left corner. This is upside down. This is upside down. And because of that, I wasn't seeing this piece because I was concentrating the orientation. And this piece is probably the one, I haven't tried it, it's probably the one that goes right there. And I've found that several times in, you know, it's hard to orient every one of them, the proper orientation, and you'll find them off and on, um, just because with a 500 piece puzzle, trying to orient everyone the first time could be difficult.